Number one most favorite lipstick ever is from Wet n Wild and it's called Dollhouse Pink and it comes in a tube that looks like this and the color looks like this. This is how the Dollhouse pink lipstick from Wet n Wild looks. So you can totally see that my look is transformed with this lipstick. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a matte color. There's no shine to it, no glossy, you know, shine or anything like that. In real life, ladies, I wish you could see this in real life. It's just like gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see. <laughs> but I absolutely am in love with this lipstick. I, this is my go-to lipstick for everything. I don't look much like I'm tanned now, but um, just in the summertime when I am tanned, this lip color just looks the bomb. And if you're an African American woman with that real nice chocolate skin tone, OMG, this lip color is gonna look ridiculous on you. So, Wet n Wild Lipstick Dollhouse Pink, and you can get this at any Walgreens or Rite Aid Pharmacy, and maybe the beauty supply store, but I don't think they hold um, Wet n Wild products. So, on to the next one. So the next color that is my absolute favorite lip color is from Avon Cosmetics and this is called Pout. Looks like this. I actually purchased this about a year ago and as you can see, I haven't really used much of it because it is my favorite lip color ever this will give you exactly what it says a, a beautiful pouty lip so you guys can totally see how this kind of cleans up the look I'm wearing a very sort of natural look today just a winged liner with a little bit of beige on my lid and then a little bit of color in the crease and just a little bit of blush and I kept everything real simple I didn't contour or anything like that and you can see that the pout lipstick just it makes my lips appear bigger because it is sort of a skin toned lipstick and I didn't even have to put any lip gloss on because this is not a matte lipstick Okay, so my third top lipstick of 2012 transitioning into 2013 is from Revlon Cosmetics and it looks like this and it's called Cream. And this is kind of like the pout from Avon, but it does give you a different look. Um, Moisturize your lips and then place the lipstick gently on your lips. I'll show you how it looks. Obviously, I'm just showing you how it, the color looks, but usually I would line my lips so that the lipstick could stay in place and I would shape it and better whatever, whatever but I just want you guys to see how it looks. So I'm just gonna really get in here and pack it on color. The pout is more of a natural lip color more than this one is. But I actually love this one more than the pout, but the pout is my favorite. So I'm like stuck in between the two. How I decide which one it is that I want to use is how intense, the intensity of the color. So if I want more of a beigey color, I'll use the cream. 
because you can see it kind of looks like a beige color and if I want more of a real natural look I'll go for the pout now I just want to vamp this look up a little bit more so I'm going in with my X's frosted beige and I just want to show you you don't really need to put a lip gloss on top of this lipstick from Revlon because this does have kind of a sheen to it it does have a moisture to it um, just like the Avon one the pout it's not matte like the pink lipstick from dollhouse so how this one looks is like this And it just gives you more of a pout, even though it's cold cream. Okay, ladies, so the final thing that I want to show you, even though it was, this is called my three most favorite lipsticks, um, it's also my three most favorite lip glosses. And like I said, Chandelier is my go-to lip gloss. I use this every day. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, if I just put this on, I feel like a million bucks. So, let me just show you the magic of this lip gloss. I'm just gonna show you just how gorgeous this looks. You can already just see that I'm blinging it out over here with this lip gloss. I mean, look at that. Boom. Boom. Get this, ladies. You'll love it. I mean, I don't know. Six dollars, maybe. That's it, ladies. I hope that you guys enjoyed my three top lipsticks and lip glosses of 2012 transitional into 2013. Look at this lip gloss, ladies. Get this lip gloss. Get it. It's the bomb. So again, these are my three favorite lip glosses. NYX, very affordable. Revlon, Avon, Wet n Wild. You don't need to be all fancy schmancy getting the MAC lip glosses and lipsticks that cost an arm and a leg to just get the same effect. So there you go ladies. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.